I'm going to show how I made this marble maze. I build it out of these different segments. The first step is getting the wire ready. I cut it into different lengths. One of the tricks for straightening the wire is to chuck it into a drill. You can then use a pair of pliers and put some pressure on it pulling and spin the drill. The result is a straightened wire. Next up are the little connecting bits. These actually connect the rails together. These are formed by wrapping a spiral of wire around a form. Here I use this extension bit. And create the coil of wire, creates these circles. The wire is all coiled up, you can remove it off the form and start cutting it up. Cut the coil, you want to separate into each individual coil so you have small little circles. Once you're done with the circles, you cut them in half. Let's create these little U-shapes that will connect the rails together. Now we start building the segments that will actually form the track. Here I start with the straight segments. So using some of the straightened wire, I would cut it into lengths. I just picked an arbitrary length and started cutting a bunch of pieces. This way all the straight tracks are about the same length. You take two straight pieces of wire and clamp them down. I'm using this board that happens to be about the right size. And all these little orange clamps come in really handy. I'm just eyeballing the distance between the different rails. I've done this a couple of times now and after you've done one you can know about how far apart the rails need to be. You can also fine tune this using the little connector bits that we made before. This board has space for two so I'll put a second one down so I can solder them all up together. Some of the connecting bits. Helping hands are great for this. You can position the connecting bit just in the right spot and then start soldering it up. For each of the different segments I put on two of these little connecting bits that way they can be held together. Test it out. They aren't exactly the same size, but they're close enough. Next are U segments. Here I took some of the wire straight off the coil. I didn't bother straightening it. I have a PVC fitting that I'm wrapping the wire around. This one I'm wrapping it tight. That creates this U shape. I have another PVC fitting. This one's a smaller diameter. It lets me create the inside radius of the corners.
I worry about getting these exactly right. I can actually tweak the bends a little bit later when I start soldering them together. Now I trim them all to approximately the right length. Again, not worrying too much about getting it exactly right. And just like the straight tracks, clamp these down to the board so we can solder them up. Again, I'm going to put two of the connecting pieces per track segment. So I don't actually worry about getting these all on the board. Here I can bend it a little bit, trying to get it lined back up. And then clamp it in place. Basically just want a relatively consistent distance between the two pieces of track. As the track distance changes, the ball will speed up or slow down. Bend it again, get it slightly tighter so it can fit into place. Or the connecting bits and start soldering it all together. process you can batch out a bunch of these different pieces. I didn't worry about getting them all exactly the same, just trying to get them relatively similar. Once they're soldered together I can trim them up a little bit more. Final type of segment I did is these corner segments. These I am again using the PVC but I'm not doing it tight against it. I'm just using it as a form to try and get a slight bend. These are approximately 90 degrees when they're all done. I can bend it against the PVC pipe and I can do a little bit by hand. Again, just eyeballing the fit to see if the distance is approximately the same. Clamps help position everything. And then start soldering the connecting bits in place again. Lots of connecting bits. You can see the length of the wires for the track isn't the same. I didn't really worry about these. Again, it's easy to trim afterwards. Especially for the radius, it's hard to know exactly how much wire you need. And this one works as well. And that's the process. Go and create a bunch of these different track segments. Once you're done, you have a collection. Here are the corner segments, the U's, and all the straight segments. Next, we use a base and some supports. I'm using a piece of foam core and a bunch of straight pieces of wire is poke them through the foam core. These will wind up being the supports for the track itself. You're looking at the bottom of the base right now. Push all the wires through. Off camera, I put a separate piece of foam core underneath and CA glued it together. Now I can start laying out the track. This is the last piece of track in the run. Actually use some pliers here and bend up the end so that the ball doesn't go rolling off. Use small pieces of wire and the helping hands to solder onto the support. These will actually support the track. And the helping hands again can be used to position the track and I can solder from the support onto the bottom of the connecting bit. You don't want to solder onto any other place of the rail, otherwise the ball might get stuck. Trying out the next piece. And getting it in position again with the helping hands. It's a little bit of finagling to get it in just the right spot. And then solder it up.
add another support. Basically for every track segment, I added a support. And then trim the support to length. All these track segments were built straight. So using the pliers, I could actually bend some of these so we get a little bit of slope. Pick the next piece out and get it into place with the helping hands. And then solder it up. support. Try and find the next piece. Nice thing about having this collection of pieces is you can figure out wh where you want to go next. Here I'm bending the track into place again to get a little bit of slope. solder it on and add a support. And try it with the ball one more time. Here's a straight piece of track, but I didn't actually want it to be a straight run. So I actually bent it up and down so I have a little bit of a hump in the track. happy with it. I can position it in place. And you guessed it, more soldering. Again, try a couple different track pieces to figure out which one I like best. Here it didn't quite line up, so I actually trimmed the track. I didn't want to extend too far past the base. The platform kept moving around on me, so I had a little bit of ballast. Thought are some more supports. For some of these track segments, I didn't actually get them butted end to end. They overlapped a little bit. So as long as the uphill track was on top of the lower track, I didn't really worry about it. The process goes like that. Keep picking out the next track piece, solder it on, build up. By having the whole collection of different track segments, I could pretty much get it to go where I wanted. I didn't feel too limited, even though I only had three basic shapes. If you wanted to, you could build a few more. As I went up, I kept adding some bends and trying to get it in just the place that I wanted. And every once in a while, I would try it out again just to make sure it worked. And occasionally, I have to bend the radiuses in particular, making sure the outside rail is higher. Here I'm actually looking at trying a couple of pieces out. Usually I just pick the one next segment, but like in this case I wanted to go around the corner, so I wanted to check to make sure that the following segment also worked. I'm doing a figure S across the top. and looping back around on itself. I 
finally adding the last straight piece to give a nice launching spot. And try it out. Ball makes it all the way to the bottom, no problems. And now it's all done. Launch the ball off the top, have it go all the way around. Overall, this process worked really well. One of the advantages of using all of these pre-built segments is I could actually keep the track very compact. Last time I made a marble track, I used long pieces of wire, and they were kind of unwieldy. By having all these pre-built track segments, the assembly went relatively easily. It was just a lot of soldering. Thanks for watching.